What is up YouTube? I'm Casey with bestinvestingapps.com and today we're going to be talking about the performance of the Acorns portfolios all the way from conservative to aggressive. Thanks to everyone who has signed up using my link. If you want to find that, it's in the show notes below. It'll give you five bucks and it kicks me back five bucks as well. So I appreciate that. And I'll be giving away free copies of my ebook, Invest, Three Easy Steps to Get Started Investing. So stick around. I'll tell you how to get that. We're going to dive right into it. I have taken each of the portfolios from Acorns and I have back tested them using Portfolio Visualizer. If you want the link to Portfolio Visualizer, it's in the show notes below, or you can just go type that into your web browser. So starting with the conservative portfolio, we've imported the portfolio down here along the bottom. Yeah, I'm still here. And we've taken that over to Portfolio Visualizer for back testing. The conservative portfolio analysis here shows an annual growth rate of 6.25% since 2010. Uh, we don't have data any further back than that because the VOO ETF, one of the ETFs that's in the portfolio, was made in 2010, so we don't have any data further back than that. Um, we can get all sorts of great data like market correlation, correlation uh, standard deviation, annual growth rate, and then of course we can see a good graph um, had we invested in this Acorns portfolio on December 31st of 2010, today we would have $14,826, assuming an initial investment of 10 grand. Uh, we can look at all sorts of detailed information here. So I'll have the link to each of these. We have annual returns and, and drawdowns. I'll have the link to the portfolio visualizer breakdown where you can go in and you can get as much detailed information as you want about each of these. Uh, I'll have that in the, in the show notes below, so check for that. Moving up the scale to the moderately conservative portfolio, we're going to come look at that in Portfolio Visualizer. We see a higher annual growth rate here of 7.54% uh, with a maximum drawdown of almost 11% and a market correlation of 0.94. Not bad. All this information may be over your head. Basically, what all of these details mean are statistical analysis of the information contained in the portfolio visualizer breakdown. So if I click on metrics, I can come through the metrics and I see like beta, alpha, R2. A lot of this information may be a little difficult for you to understand. A quick Google search will help you figure them out. I'm not going to break down every single one because it would take forever in this video. But you can look at the monthly and annualized average return here. So these are important statistics. Every month it returns about 0.63%. Uh, every year it returns on average 7.18%, 81%. Uh, so those are important metrics that you might want for comparing. Now we're moving straight on to the moderate portfolio. This is the middle ground between conservative and aggressive. So let's check out what uh, Portfolio Visualizer has to say about it. We see an annual growth rate of 7.92%, a little bit better, uh, but nothing crazy here. Market correlation is rising as we go more and more aggressive, which means that the portfolio will perform very similar to the entire market. Uh, we can see best years and worst years. Maximum drawdown is increasing. We now have a maximum drawdown of almost 15%. The maximum drawdown statistic is um, how much has this portfolio ever deviated negatively so the most it's ever been drawn down is 14.84 percent remember this only goes back to like late 2010 uh, so we don't have the drawdown numbers from like the great recession which would be in the 30s or more um, so good information for the moderate portfolio we're getting up into the moderately aggressive portfolio let's check it out we're going to see a growth rate of 8.67 percent steadily climbing as we become more and more aggressive as is the market correlation if you haven't learned about market correlation check the show notes below i wrote an article about it recently over on the best investing apps blog you can learn a little more about that our maximum drawdown is also increasing as we become more and more aggressive, which means the portfolio has the potential to lose a lot more money as we go more and more aggressive. If you want to know how to avoid losing money on an aggressive portfolio, again, check the show notes. I just wrote an article talking a little bit about maximum drawdown and how to avoid losing money when the markets move the other way. So that would be good for you. 
Finally, let's take a look at the performance of the aggressive portfolio. This is the portfolio that I use with Acorns. We'll go over and we'll check the back test. We have an annual growth rate of 8.83%, so it's the highest it's been. We also have a market correlation of 0.95%, so it's almost 100% correlated with the market. Of course, we have maximum drawdown that is massively increased now. We have almost a 23% maximum drawdown, uh, worst year of minus 5%. So as we can see, look, maximum drawdown here, 22%. Let's compare that to conservative with a maximum drawdown of... 7%. So the worst drawdown ever for the conservative portfolio was 7.36%. The worst drawdown ever for the aggressive portfolio was 22%. Big difference. You got to have the stomach for big price swings. And again, that doesn't always mean that you're losing money. So we'll talk a little more about that. Remember, just because your portfolio changes in value and goes up and down does not mean that you're actually losing money. Those are called unrealized gains and losses until you actually sell your shares and lock in those losses. If you want to know more about realized and unrealized gains and losses, check the show notes below. I have a good article about that over on the blog. You'll also find the link to download your free copy of Invest 3 Easy Steps to get started investing. If you want to take a little more control of your investing, then Acorns allows you to. If you want to tweak your portfolio a little, I'll show you how to do that in that ebook. So thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope this helped you out. Leave me a comment if we were helpful and make sure to hit that subscribe button if we helped you make money, save money, or avoid making a mistake.